What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, as I promised to you guys, um, we've completed the um, uh, Easter egg challenge. So I thought to make this video and just to highlight the things that you guys should be uh, the most uh, aware of. So once you're in Dark Aoife, um, you'll naturally go and start the mission. I would suggest jump to the ship, start the first mission, which is for the MMA gloves. Um, this is a very straightforward one. Uh, nothing specifically required for, for, for this, so um, just start the schedule and try to be as active as you can. Um, as you can tell, I've uh, finished all these missions solo, so probably the best advice for you is to, uh, to just stay active and move as much as you can, uh, just to avoid having uh, situations where you're getting downed or uh, potentially you know, um, uh, in a tight spot. Share with you guys um, uh, the maps and put some timestamps for the video to help you um, navigate this quicker. Um, the next schedule is behind the stadium. Uh, this one is to unlock the target for, um, um, for the easter egg. I would suggest for this particular one to have Deadshot Daggery um, as a perk. It will help you with uh, having those headshots uh, done quicker. Um, and if you have it active, it really quickly. And the final one, for me at least, was the mirror. Um, that was probably the, the hardest one, um, given that you have to keep an eye on the surrounding and the, the type of perk that uh, the, the game will suggest you using. Um, so I would, I would probably um, suggest on this one, from them all, be the most uh, cautious of uh, the hordes of zombies. Uh, it can get quite tight there, um, so be sure to, to have uh, self-revive or at least a, a dog with you to, to revive you when needed, if you're playing solo days. Um, also, bear in mind, you can do all these missions while you're doing the main escort mission for, uh, for, the, for the chapter 4. Um, so bear in mind, you're obviously on a time for the map, um, and if, um, if by all means you're completing the rifts, and you're running out of time, you'll die and you lose all of them. Um, so again, another tip or recommendation, get, um, get a tombstone with you. Um, at least when you're uh, entering back into the game, you'll be able to have access to all these um, um, items that you've uh, crafted for. Um, so just really be careful with this. Um, it, uh, it took me a couple of, uh, couple of attempts at least to figure out what we had to do with, uh, with the rift itself um, and yeah just putting it out there um, it might take some, uh, some time until you're, you're gonna nail this. Right, once you have all the um, uh, items uh, you'll be able to extract and move on to the, uh, to the normal map um, but as, uh, as mentioned, I've uh, made a map for you guys where you can see with the spots where, where things are. Um, so now moving back to the, uh, to the map, we're going to the first location, which is uh, the church. Um, once you get next to a car, you can offer the, um, um, the first item um, and you will spawn a zombie, which uh, almost seems impossible to kill. And that's because you have to uh, drag him uh, to the top of the church where you have another mirror game. Um, it's even tighter than the first one, so again, just be uh, conscious of, uh, of the space um, and you just have to select the ammo mode that the walls um, uh, or the color of the zombie represents. Um, and once you've done that, um, the zombie will die really quickly, so you can collect your golden mirror. Next stop is the aim um, or the target. Uh, you can find this on the um, uh, south coast of the map. Um, it's a very straightforward uh, Easter egg, this one. Once you place the offer uh, in the middle of the shooting range uh, or behind the pup uh, machine, you can start moving on to get the other things um, uh, running. Um, initially, I thought once you shoot the target, you uh, just disappear, but instead of just changing colors. So just be, be aware of this. It's normal. It's supposed to happen. Um, and then the final uh, one that you have to convert is uh, at the gym. The gym is, is, um, is again south of the map. Um, once you place the offer on, um, on the boxing range, um, you just have to punch the, the bags. They'll start uh, uh, taking fire and then a zombie with, uh, 
uh, two red gloves uh, will spawn. Uh, bear in mind, even if you if you manage to take him out of the ring, he'll become impossible to kill. Um, so the Easter egg is meant for you to punch him within the, the ring to get the item. Um, again, just a quick um, a quick map of the of all the locations in the main game. Um, so make sure you can uh, you can screenshot this and use it. Um, I've just pinpointed where things are. Um, and once you have all the golden items, um, now you can go into tier 3 um, and activate the, 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 the mission and the rift itself. Um, just bear in mind, um, when, whenever you go there, there will be a mimic which will spawn. Um, so make, make sure you have your weapon pack a punch 2 or 3. Um, in this video I've only went to uh, level 1, it didn't really help. Um, so thanks, uh, thanks to a team nearby that came to, to pick me up. Um, but once you've activated this, um, it will be uh, activated for you forever. So you just have to use the same sigils as the previous games. Um, one, uh, one, one tip I, I do have for you, if you do happen to have some uh, Elder Sigils and you're prepared to jump into the Elder Sigil game, um, have them with you. And as soon as the, uh, the Rift uh, is active, um, just go and uh, place the uh, Elder Sigil there. Um, but that's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching, uh, thanks for um, uh, your support so far. Um, once we uh, have some more uh, uh, content created, uh, we'll make sure to post it on the, on the channel. Um, but in the meantime, stay tuned, um, stay safe and enjoy the game.